Hey everybody, Tim Walquist here, Barefit Personal Trainer and NASM Certified Nutrition Counselor with today's Tasty Tuesday Tip. Today I wanted to kind of highlight one of my favorite things to utilize uh, in my daily and weekly nutrition and that would be uh, grain bowls. So uh, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a bowl of grains, but from there the possibilities are endless. So uh, three grains specifically I use are uh, farro, it's an Italian grain, uh, quinoa, which is a uh, South American grain, and then I always keep some brown basmati rice on hand. <clears throat> uh, I like to use these three just because they have their own characteristics depending on what you're looking for a grain bowl. Farro is going to be a more heartier grain, so as you cook it, it's going to swell up more so that you don't need as much to feel full. So if you're looking for a small amount of grains and adding more proteins and vegetables and things like that, that's a good one to use. Quinoa is the exact opposite. It's very light, it's fluffy, it's very small, so you can eat a lot more of that before feeling full, again, adding more vegetables and protein as you see fit. Uh, brown basmati rice is is rice. So, you know, it's the simplest thing to, to use if you aren't familiar with any other types of grains. Now, that being said, I said the possibilities are endless. So, from cooking these, it's really on and up to you to what you want to add. Uh, I always like to kind of go with a certain you know, national theme. So a lot of times with farro, I'll go more like Italian. Since it's from Italy, I'll use more Italian things like tomatoes, basil, you know, uh, Parmesan cheese, things like that. Uh, rice is really a good platform. You can basically do whatever you want to. I mean, you can go, uh, you know, Mexican or Spanish with it. You can go, uh, Asian with it. You could go Indian with it, being that basmati rice is used a lot in Indian cuisine. Uh, quinoa, again, is kind of a blank slate to use. I use it a lot of times and do like a, a like a, a burrito bowl style with it, you know, putting lots of beans, uh, lettuce in there, a little bit of salsa just on top. Uh, usually, grilled or roasted chicken or steak is really good in there, but these grains are a good way to help satisfy your your hunger throughout the day. So like if you, if you know you're gonna have a long time between lunch and dinner, incorporating a grain bowl like this is a good way to make sure that you're going to stay feeling full between those two meals so that you're gonna reduce the, the cravings you have to, to reach for you know, a snack. And plus they're gonna give you a lot more energy because they're complex carbohydrates. So they're going to digest slower and slowly release the natural sugars that they have versus uh, like a simple sugar carbohydrate, like uh, white, you know, quick rice, you know, that's gonna be something that your body burns through real quick. And then you're gonna kind of hit a sugar crash. So thinking about like a whole grain or, you know, a more complex carbohydrate, is that it's going to sustain that energy longer so that you don't have that crash and you aren't as hungry again so soon. Uh, I will attach a couple of my favorite recipes below utilizing these grains. Uh, have a safe and happy week. If you guys have any questions, feel free to send the Summers a direct message and they'll put you in contact with me. Stay tuned for next week's episode. Have a healthy week, guys.